What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over binary search tree insertion. So, um, the basically we're just inserting a node into a binary search tree. So, let's say we have this tree 4, 2, 7, 1, 3. If I want to insert the value 6, it's going to be right to the left of 7. So, how would you insert a node into a binary search tree? Um, so the good thing about binary search trees is that the left side is always less than the current node and the right side is always greater than or equal to the current node. So as you can see here, we have four is our root two, all the values on the left side of four, such as two, one, three, it's always less than four. And all of the values on the right side of four is seven and it's always greater than four, greater than or equal to four. So yeah, to insert into a binary search tree, all you have to do is just essentially keep going to the left side. Um, actually, uh, essentially what you're doing is you're check you're comparing the the root with like the node that you're inserting, and then um, if it's greater than the node uh, than your root, you're gonna recursively call on the right side, and if it's less than it, you're gonna recursively call on the left side. So I'll just go over the code with you right now. So I actually created a helper function because I didn't want to deal with like, I don't know, I didn't like, I don't want to deal with like passing in data over and over again. So what I did was I created like a new node called uh, the new node that we want to insert to insert. And I pass in data to that to create my new node first. Um, you, you technically don't know how I have to do this, but I, that's what I did. And I just called a, this helper function to insert my new node to insert and my current root I pass in. And then I set my root to equal to this new helper function and I return the root. Because that's what they want, to return the new root. Okay, so what does this code for the helper function do? Basically, I have the node that I want to insert and the current root. So the base case is if the current root is null, then I just return the node that I want to insert. Otherwise, I get the data at the root. And what I do is um, if the data that I want to insert at is less than or equal to the roots data, then I'm going to recursively call on the left. I said roots, le new, uh, roots left is now going to be the helper function recursively call on the left side of roots left. And I pass in to insert node. Then if Two inserts. Uh, otherwise, if two inserts data is greater than the, the the data at the current root, then I'm gonna call root arrow right is gonna recursively call on the right side of roots right, and I'm gonna ins uh, pass in my new node to insert. At the end, I just return the root. So I could go over an example on why this works, and uh, yeah. So let's actually go over that right now. And let's actually use an example of uh, this sample input on why it works. So here we have, um, we have this, right? Okay, we have this. So let's say I want to insert six. So first I create a new node six, right? And I just have this new node. That's what this first line of code does. It creates a new node of six. And I'm going to pass in my helper function of six and the root that I want to insert at. Okay, so now what do I do? What do I do? Um, if the root is null, which is not, right, the root is starting at four, this is not null. So what do I do? It is um, I'm going to get the root's data. So what is the root's data? It's going to be four, right? The root's data is four. If the value that I'm inserting is less than or equal to root's data, which is not, right? Six is not less than or equal to four. So we don't even do this, right? We don't do this. So we're not gonna do that. Um, now we're just gonna check, is the value that I wanna insert at greater than roots data? So six is greater than four, uh, than roots data. Roots data is four, six is greater than four. So we're gonna go to the right side of this right side. So now recursively call on the right side. So that's going to be 
Um, yeah, that's going to be 7. So now we go back to the top, and root is that is now 7. So is root null? It's not. So I'm going to get the data at root, which is going to be 7. So now root is 7, by the way. Root is 7. Okay, so now, now I'm here. Right? I'm at 7. So now we're going to check is roots is the value that I want to insert less than or equal to roots data. So is six less than or equal to seven? It is. It is less than or equal to seven. So I'm going to set seven's left. Seven's left. So this left. Ah, oh, crap. Um, yeah, so seven's left. Oh my gosh, this is so hard to circle. Seven's left is going to point to um, recursively calling on roots left so on sevens left. So sevens left is going to be null. So I'm going to recursively pass um, the null and the node that I want to insert at, which is six. So I recursively pass in here. Then we're going to have uh, null is our root and the value I want to insert is six. So is root equal to null? It is right. Roots left is null because it's null, then we're going to return six. So that's going to return six. And then uh, seven's left is going to equal to six. Eh. Yeah, this is seven's left. So yeah, and then um, after that we return seven. So after we return seven, it's going to go back to here. So then it's going to say four is right is going to equal to seven. So then four is right is equal to seven. So it's going to return that. So then it goes back to the top. And then after four is right is equal to seven, it's going to return the root, which is going to be four, the top of four. So yeah, then our whole tree gets returned. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of recursively calling this function. Um, I hope you guys understand what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just going to the left. If it's, if it's, if it's, if it's less than, I go to the left. If it's greater than, I go to the right. So then I'm going to insert the value that I want it insert it at. But uh, yeah, essentially that is all there is to it. And uh, yeah, I got a seed on this question. But that's all there is to uh, inserting into a binary search tree. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.